so you can see here so you can edit the image from here as i have discussed in the next previous video here you can set the time limit that what seconds you want to give to this question let's say 5 seconds 10 seconds 20 seconds so you can set the time limits then you can set the points here that how many points you want to set for this question like let's say 0 1000 and 2000 so three options are there basically so let's say 1000 then you have single select and multi select if you want to select uh, so single select is uh, like a multiple choice question and multi select is your checkbox type question okay so this is how it will show and you can edit these options let's say this was my information technology Communication and all of the other. Okay, so I can write down the options here, and as you can see, it is a very engaging and very interesting uh, format. You can see here, and it looks really nice. So you can select the correct option here. So let's say this one is the correct option and this one is not. So I have unselected this and this one is the correct option. So whenever the students mark, they will be awarded uh, points according to this option. All right. So your first question is all set. Then you can add another question from clicking from here. Okay. Or you want to add this is again a multiple choice choice question. You can add a true false type question if you want to. So again, same criteria. You have true and false two options available here. Okay, so it is saying if you are you are going to give a long uh, time limit for a for some particular question, say if it is a mathematical equation or any other type of equation or uh, any equation that requires some brainstorming, then you would like to increase its time. And you can see, uh, you will see this. Uh, there is an inbuilt uh, music available for the longer types of questions. All right. So when the question will be will take long time, so automatically the music will start playing. All right. So again, you can set multiple options from here as well. Okay, so this is how you can create a number of questions. Okay, you can click on add question and you can add up multiple questions. So let's say I am done with my uh, settings and I say done. And it's going to validate my Kahoot that I have created. And here you can see, see all, I have created one, my Kahoots in my section, it is showing I have created one Kahoot. So I'm going to see that Kahoot. This is basically, again, the teacher's dashboard. Here you can see I have clicked on nine questions, so it has selected nine questions from that uh, sample uh, sample quiz. Okay, so this is Kahoot for formative assessment. We can edit these options, obviously. All right. If you want to edit this, you can click on edit. Those three dots will provide you the options to edit this quiz. Okay. So here it is, you can edit the quiz if you want to and the Kahoot title, let's say I want to change this title, I'm not liking this title, so let us change the title to my first quiz. 